Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW guys 6 series and you're trying to test your coolant temperature sensor, doesn't matter, guys. Okay, what generation 6 series you have? It could be 63, 64, F06, F12, F13, guys. If you're trying to test your coolant temperature sensor, doesn't matter if you have six eight cylinder gasoline diesel engine the procedure guys will apply to all of that stay with us and we'll explain how to know if your sensor is good or bad now why to waste money on a new sensor when you can test yours and find out if it's working correctly because sometimes it could be something else causing your problem sometimes it could be even melted or broken wire somewhere on the way now before we start guys all the tools and parts that we use including if you need to buy a new sensor we'll share the links in the description of the video below number two guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you let us show you guys what you're going to need some uh, basic tools and supplies that you can find at home guys you need a voltmeter which is not very expensive and if you need to buy one we'll share the links in the description of the video below so i'll come on this side okay so things are a little bit better okay and uh, before we start okay we'll explain about the graphs as, as we go but guys this channel right here how to repair guys we have helped more than 71 million people so check it out very helpful information can be found on this channel information that can save you guys thousands of dollars now what do we need voltmeter we have the graphs here uh, here with the readings we have water okay we have the sensor now we're going to heat up our water to certain temperatures and we're going to compare the reading okay from the graph to the reading of our voltmeter and make sure that this sensor is actually working correctly now the first graph right here is in celsius so if you use celsius that will be the graph guys you can see okay it's divided by two the left part the ohm readings are right here the right part guys okay the ohm readings are right here so it can be more detailed so we'll test it at different temperatures and compare our readings now if you're using fahrenheit this will be the fahrenheit temperature and this one will be the ohm readings for the fahrenheit so now we need to get the sensor we're going to install alligator clips okay so we can connect our voltmeter and things will not move our water right now guys okay it's at 25 degrees celsius right on the spot so at 25 okay we should get a reading at about guys okay 1800 to about 20 23 2400 and our voltmeter now okay gives us a reading of about 2000 so that's right on the spot guys we're set to go now what we're going to do we're going to light up our torch okay we're going to light up our torch and we're going to see if okay if actually guys our sensor is working you can see the more the temperature heats up okay the ohm meter should start dropping guys so we're going to heat up our water and we're going to compare it at a few temperature levels to make sure that everything works correctly so with that being said okay let's stir things up a little bit stir 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 30 okay let's do it at 40 degrees two more degrees guys okay one more 40 degrees reading of 1200 at 1200 guys at 40 degrees we should have a reading of about 1000 to 1400 so we're right on the spot you can see now we keep doing that guys okay next temperature reading we we'll do 5 uh, 50 degrees and it should be about 750 to about 1000 50 degrees we're at 830 so we're right on the spot guys you can see it's working perfectly so far next we're going to compare it at about let's say we'll go to 70 degrees at 70 degrees your reading now we go to the right side of the graph should be 370 to about 450 460 okay so we keep hitting up we're at 60 62 63 we keep hitting up i have the if you need to buy the thermometer guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below as well okay 68 69 oh right there we're going to hit 70 right now perfect 390 guys 
and we're right where we're supposed to be you can see between 370 i think and about 460 50 so this is one good working sensor that's how you can test it out okay if you have fahrenheit if you're in a country that uses fahrenheit you can use this graph and these are the readings but celsius is pretty easy guys and you can always calculate it and there is a formula online which is super simple so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time